not like and like it, it was my channel, Divi Nala, done by Nala. I know I look different without a costume. I know, I know, it's just not, it's not giving. I want to look like a vampire or a fish. Anyways, if you're new to my channel, welcome on. We do a lot of mental health type related art and um, we just talk about it in the chat. You guys give me ideas and we kind of just bounce things off of each other. This is inspired November because it's my birthday month. So I'm gonna get inspired. This video will be the only video where I'll be painting. I'm not gonna be painting this month, so. <laughs> wait, wait, don't. <laughs> it's inspired November. So I wanna get back to my roots and be inspired. Like I made this channel to try a bunch of new things. I just, I wanna get back to the trying things and failing. So this is what we did last week for oh. the last day. Oh my God, I got this break my For the last day of Halloween, we did this. And I have prints. <laughs> if you wanna check it out on my website, go ahead and get you one of these if you were thinking about getting one of these. Um, this also original painting will be on sale in my shop, as well as the other horror paintings. If you wanted to snag it, now I'm, blah, blah, blah. now it's time to snag. Christmas around the corner. Get somebody a gift. But I'm, I'm not here to publicize. Let's get into this painting. I'm making a secret gift to one of my friends. Yay! Yes, Christian. I want to make what? him a painting. And then also, I want to make a painting of Corey Kenshin. Yeah. Don't want to be like a fangirl or anything, but Corey Kenshin is the reason why I started YouTube. Black <laughs> Mean is the reason I kept going. Like, these are literally my two biggest inspirations. I'm going to look through my pictures. My fingers smell like Burger King, bro. I just had a Whopper. <laughs> okay, so I have an idea, right? So I have some images from the Halloween party thing he hosted. We were dressed up as vampires. It was him, me, and Malena. And it was so much fun. So I found some screenshots from those. So I'm gonna use this board. Um, only because I had some left and I don't think I'm gonna use this for anything, to be honest. Because remember, I'm not gonna be painting this month, so. so I'll use one of these for Cory Kenshin and then I'll use one of these for Christian. So, this is sharp, so. seen this I've already mailed it out this is gonna be funny I'm not gonna be serious at all like I really just want to have fun with this painting I'm gonna use green for like the main focus of color here because he hates drawing with green I've seen his videos and stuff so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna put some color on this I'm gonna put like a nice turquoise background color and then I'm gonna paint on top of that red I thought I was recording but I was recording my beautiful two skin tones raw sienna and chestnut I think cashew i'm really thinking about this christmas time honestly i'm not one of those people to skip thanksgiving but i can't deny christmas music makes my whole body feel like a sugar cookie <laughs> blue oh lastly if i can find it there's my yellow i have two of them i'm not a fan of the color yellow yellow is like the brightest flipping color Ooh, okay. I'm missing white. Let's get white. Yes, I have to buy paint. Well, I'm on a budget. <laughs> I wonder, can you refill, like, these containers? Like, if, let me see. Let me... If I, like... Like, you know that little opposite suction device where you can, like, stick it in there and, like... Oh, it's not opening. It's this. Oh, I don't want... Can I get this off? I don't think this comes off. Maybe... If... Maybe... Do... No, it doesn't work that way. I keep forgetting I have this thing. should clean it, but... Oh, who's got time for that? Ugh. Let's do it! I'm just gonna... See, I don't miss my straight hair, but I have to give my hair a break from having it natural for so long because I can't take care of it. There we go. No more straight hair. swamp green. I like it though. 
All right, getting into this green. Um, I should have used a bigger brush, but um, I can't find any clean big brushes. Because when I say not clean, I'm saying as in hard as rocks and have to throw out um, or do something to them because yeah. And the only good brush that I have that's clean is this one and it's low key stiff as a board. This brush here, that's, that's just the only brush that I have that's somewhat clean. I need to clean clean it. Oh, I need to clean clean this, but yeah. It's giving swamp. I like the color. It's a really pretty olive color green. Now I'm gonna go into actually blow dry this bad boy. Okay, so I'm gonna use the same brush, honestly. Um, I'm going with a dark color. Usually I will go for like like the darkest color I can make with that blue. But I'm actually gonna go for like a like a burgundy type reddish feel. And that's gonna be the darkest color I'm gonna go for. I took a little bit of purple only because it's hard for me to make pinker or kind of purplish colors because the undertones of this red is like orange and yellow. It's, it's a hassle to work with. It's very hassle to work with. I want to shape like I want to use it as like an underlayer sketch but also to show all of my shadow so I'm kind of coming at this little 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 scared but eventually I'm kind of like okay let me just go ahead and block these shapes in so that's what's kind of going on right now all right so I'm gonna go in this as usual dark and then go all the way up to light and I'm gonna use like a reddish burgundy colors because I want some nice undertones if that makes sense undertones back down there so it's gonna be like vampire-ish type vibes I really want to try to get creative like back the back black bean says and I'm gonna try to like get a little bit more um, funky with it and his style is like so amazing obviously if you guys haven't seen his channel So what Inspire November is, is like I attempt and try to follow some of the guidelines that the artist goes for. So like for example, I did my looped painting, which was the style of Frida Kahlo, which I don't know if you guys know, but that is one of my hands down favorite artists. Um, I have her tattoo right here. But I'm trying to do the same style as far as like, I'm gonna try to not mimic Black Bean's style, but like try to follow those guidelines of being loose, being creative, very colorful. And if you guys know, I don't have a lot of colorful, colorful pieces. So I wanna be colorful, funky, a little bit exaggerated features, because I feel like I wanna do him justice. I wanna do him justice. And he had no idea that I'm sending this out, so. So I saw Black Bean's channel like a few years ago and I was just honestly obsessed. And the one thing that I really love the most about his channel, I said loved, past tense. <laughs> the one thing I love most about his channel is that he's so open with like his mistakes and he makes it very human-y. That makes sense, human-y, you know? It's not like a robot, like he can't have you know imperfections with certain things like he starts over like and I just like that's what I wanted to start my channel on the idea of just being human I don't want to feel like a social media person where it's just like you're never gonna see their flaws you're gonna filter everything out and so like he just really inspired me to just be so comfortable with myself and I know it's so weird I, I never talk about this either but it's very hard showing my face on YouTube like when I say it's a very vulnerable thing like it is vulnerable hearing your voice so the fact that I'm sitting here seeing my face look at other people's faces it just it's really weird it's like you're talking yourself in the mirror you can do it you can do it that's how I feel when I see myself in the dang video and I'm editing and stuff and I hear my voice and I want to throw up because I'm like Ugh, do I sound like that so I just he gives me that confidence you know like when I watch his videos it's just like wow he's probably an amazing person and honestly he is <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna move on to my actual background. I'm not gonna show the entire process. It's basically a bunch of squares. I'm just trying to figure out where I want the squares to be. I really wanted to take this moment and finally paint him because I was planning on painting him a while ago. Happy early birthday, friend. So I finished, y'all. I'm gonna send this to him. 
I'm so excited to send him this. I'm gonna send him this tomorrow. Um, I hope he'll get a kick out of this. <laughs> but I wanted to add like the green background and I feel like it's very ghoulish, I guess. All right, so let's just continue and move on to my Cory Kenshin piece. I'm so excited. I mean, he's an idol to a lot of people and he's so humble and I just, I just can't help it. I can't help it. Let's make a Cory Kenshin piece. Now he just dropped a line. Um, it is real tough, real tough. So I'm thinking of doing like a full, well not fully full body, but something like kind of like sh torso like that and feature some of his new merch like as him wearing it. Um, so I have to find a picture of him. Okay, so I found a picture I'm gonna use. It's this one here. So I'm gonna use that one for the picture and I wanted to make sure I included his new merch on there. So thankfully he, put, he just put pictures on his Instagram page. So I'm like, perfect. Last year I made this painting. I know you're probably looking at, oh, she has a spooky scary Sunday shirt on. This is what happened last year. Every video we wow. watch, every spooky so, scary so you, Sunday. So oh, Nala, you probably gonna see this, stuff. huh? How you doing? You know, it, it's so crazy how it like the internet, internet works. works. Like now we're like forever we're connected. connected. In like this in this one, one moment, of moment of time, we're like, like you're you acknowledge me in this video, and now here I'm I am acknowledging you. you. <laughs> <Just take laughs> I'm not excited that much about it, but it wasn't gonna. Now, what are you talking about? I'm a mega fan. Okay, don't don't judge me. But the real reason why I'm actually choosing to do Black Bean and Corey Kenshin is just the simple fact that representation matters. That is correct. And just to see other people of color just unapologetically, apologetically being themselves, I just love it so much and it's just so inspiring in that factor. And not to mention, we're all Scorpios. <laughs> I mean, think about it. I don't really see a lot of black women artists on YouTube. So if I do come across one, you best believe I'm a subscribe. It's just, it's just that re representation is extremely important and it's inspiring and it gives you hope, you know, and it encourages you. So I couldn't help it, but just choose these two for inspired November. All right, let's get into this. I'm gonna go change my shirt because I don't want this to get dirty. So I'm gonna go for a red background. I feel like the red would be better for this painting. Um, I'm gonna go for like a red, kind of like, not orangey red, I probably won't have to go for orangey red. I want a sherbet color. I'm gonna see if I can make a sherbet color. Um, but that's gonna be my background. Let's get into it. Usually I show you this long winded project, but I ain't doing that. Let me just, yep. All right, so let's get into the sketching. I'm gonna get my blow dryer and blow dry this bad boy. Okay, so as usual, gonna get my sketching with my darker color here. Just a tip. One my tip, just to say, I have not used black at all. I'm just using blue and red to get that dark color here. It looks black, but it's not, it's not. I'm just adding more blue to give it a darker, cooler shade to it. I'm proud of that, I'm really proud of that. But this is the Cory Kenshin piece. Um, I just wanna talk about Cory Kenshin. The fact that, like I said before, is one of my first inspirations to start a YouTube channel. Um, me and my husband were watching Cory Kenshin in college back to back to back and how Cory Kenshin is now talking about a few issues about, you know, stuff that's just a little bit unfair. Um, but I just really appreciate how he's just so open with his public and his samurai. And like also, I love how he's not afraid to like change up like the vibe of his videos. Like he'll have like Spooky Scary Sunday where he looks at a bunch of horror movies that we sent him. And then one day he'll put a full gameplay on, you know, Poppy's Playhouse or something. And then the next day he'll put a video video of just telling people to take a breath and enjoy life and give yourself some grace. I just love it. it it's just very broad. It's very broad. And you know, obviously I'm an art channel, so I'm trying to be more broad because I really, you know, I don't want to trap myself. I don't want to put a bubble, you know, I really do want to branch out and do other things. And like one day, you know, I want to make a Patreon. Like I want to teach classes online, you know, I want to do stuff like that eventually. So I just love how he just like pushes people to like branch out and just be uncomfortable. How you guys are always say, you know, be comfortable comfortable with being uncomfortable <laughs> but um yeah happy birthday to Corey Kenshin this is his actual birthday today today I'm posting it so I just appreciate it I really do appreciate it so I'm going backwards getting the darks and moving all the way to my lights and I learned from doing a few paintings that this like the more layers you have of color then like the more uh, detailed it look. One of my tips is do not rush the highlight. So I'm gonna make sure I get every dark, slightly lighter, slightly lighter, slightly lighter, slightly lighter. Cause I don't wanna get to the white quite yet. Cause when you build it like that, it gives off a little bit more of a softer image, especially when you're going for um, 
an acrylic painting. Sometimes if you want it to have that effect of looking more so like an oil painting or whatever, you really have to just take your time with the layers. That's that's what I think helps me. It helps me. I'm not giving, you know, I'm just saying it helps me. You guys, this transformer, I think this is, I don't know which one it is. I don't know if this is. Oh, I don't know but this thing is so hard to paint I mean like I have to switch to the tiny brush like multiple times just to get those tiny little like areas but honestly it's a very slow process I wasn't confident at first but this is slowly becoming what it needs to look like I didn't really see it coming into place until actually doing the detail work on the little tiny Cory Kenshin at the bottom this is when I get excited like even putting the clouds in they're just so so therapeutic, very therapeutic. <laughs> I got frustrated because I had to get the detail and I had to literally cut out footage. It was so bad. You probably just seen my head because I was so close doing the details. <laughs> I wanted it to be perfect. And you know, it's weird because this not, this not, this doesn't look like the picture. Like I'm literally just trying to figure out what are some good curves in the shirt. So it's just me spitballing. Did that, <laughs> who says spitballing? It's me spitballing literally. I was committed to get this hat perfectly right. The amount of tiny details I had to do to make it super duper sharp, I, I didn't even use a paint marker. Like I'm so proud, so proud of this. Okay, so I finally finished. This is the next day, but. Okay, look, this is the one from last year I made. Like, what? What? Look at this the growth. This is really nice. I, I'm really proud of this. Um, Corey Kenshin, if you're watching this, this is a one in a million chance. Happy birthday. And then of course, for my friend Christian, I know he had no idea I was gonna do this, but happy birthday, Christian. You know, I love you. You are the bomb.com. Well, I just talked to you the other day. You're great. And I feel like this is spooky. And I feel like you're gonna be surprised. <laughs> so, no. I'm proud. It's so like I said, these are the paintings of people that inspire me. Um, I hope that you have an amazing birthday. An amazing, amazing birthday. Um, I know it's not your birthday now, Christian, but I feel like I, I should just get it out early. So if you're watching it now, um, but I thank you guys for always. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will see you guys very soon. Just a reminder, this is the last painting I'm gonna be doing this month. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of other stuff because I wanna get inspired and creative. Don't forget, don't forget, I guess you're starting roots. I don't want to forget that under me. So I'm just saying like, if there's like some craft you used to do or used to game you used to play, try to get back into that. The holidays are coming back up. Bring that inner child back out. I feel like people need that sometimes with everything going on in the world. But um, have a great day. Bye. Now that I've got you right where I want you. Like and subscribe. <laughs> nice.